Hello guys, so today I'm going to share with you how to play using all the mechanics in PES 2021. Let's play Legend difficulty, 10 minutes, let's get it started. Okay, let's uh, quickly go through the controls first. My control is R1 is sprint, R2 is special controls, uh, L1 is a case chain switching player, L2 is manual control, cross or X is uh, the low pass, uh, squ square is the shoot, uh, circle is the lock pass, lofted pass, and triangle is the true pass. Alright, so I have here pass support level 1. Because I want to show you how to use manual pass using L2 And others I have uh, not changed anything at all So the camera settings is dynamic wide Let's get the match started So The first thing that I want to show you is using your R2 To do something like that Then using your R1 to stop quickly that let's take a quick look again oh I couldn't quite catch this one see here I hold R1 and lift uh, all of other buttons to not touch so that I can quickly stop all right For defense, I suggest you to change to other players and then using your square button to that's a manual pass using your square button to tell your teammates to chase the ball you can use your L1 and uh, right stick to tell your player to run to tell your teammates to run to, to make space and use your manual then double tap R1 there that's an easy goal this is legend difficulty <laughs> so it is possible to do something like that this is what I want to show you oh. You can see here, I told him to run using L1 and right stick. That makes the defender go a little bit back to cover the space. Then as I want to receive the ball, I double tap R1 to push the ball into space. Like that. Push the ball a bit further instead of close to his feet into the space. And quickly take a easy shot like that all right use your right stick to switch player more accurately instead your uh, L1 which supposedly to switch to uh, the player closest to the ball you can switch to your center backs then uh, use your uh, square to ask your teammate to chase then use your center backs to uh, position him into a good space to mark a, a player or center forward inside let's take a quick look again you can see I'm using I think Bonucci and then I just follow Zeko around like that to stop from any uh, ball coming to him but you can see that if you if the ball get into the box it's better to switch to the player <laughs> close to the ball like that instead of just uh, holding a square to get your teammates to chase here I want to show you you can use your R2 and left stick like that let's take another quick look here, if you want to get a quick uh, shot, uh, 
start like this you can use your L1 and right stick to change to the player that you want to pass and as you receive that pass like that use uh, hold R2 and your left stick to the desired uh, direction like this one I push it down like that Oop. push it down and R2 hold it so that the ball will go like that instead of just uh, stop in front of him that way I can quickly pass it to the right back like that I think this is very important for online because uh, human player tends to chase for the ball very aggressively oh, that's a bad decision Oh no, you should have left it. So if you want to lift something, you can use your L2, uh, R1 and R2 to do super cancel. So that you can lift ball like that. Oh, that's an aggressive approach by the com. Quickly clear the ball using your square button try to manual pass try to use as much as manual pass for true ball oh that's a good ball in use R1 to stop my dad but that one is a bad example Change to center backs. Take a look at your map and position him to a good place to block uh, any ball coming in. Nope. And don't be afraid to use. Uh, uh, lofted pass instead of just uh, the low pass to pass the ball around oh oh my god I got played with the oh with the 1-2 pass 1-2 pass is very effective in online a bit hard to do in offline you can see there I use a fake shot so that is one uh, effective way to switch uh, your direction use your square or circle and then quickly tap X then you can use your left stick to direct it toward uh, upwards or downwards to your desired direction you can see the defender there because of the momentum oh. using your step over skill don't be afraid to go back Build the play from the back. One, two. Oh. Up. Oh. oh. Using your center back to get him in position like that. Then use your square to chase for the ball. quickly get a defender around the box get as many players as possible inside the box oh clear it 
don't think much inside the box just clear it that's the end of the first half Okay, so in this half, let's try do a skills. I think most of you guys who have switched from FIFA probably likes to use skills a lot, and you guys might be a bit disappointed that it's really hard to do skills in PES, and just in real life, it's really hard to execute and. The payoffs is not that good. That's a bad example. <laughs> oh, bad defending. Ah, too slow in that pass. <laughs> and trying to close down any space for him to give a pass Oh, Effective shielding. Oh, couldn't quickly get a pass. Oh, legend difficulty quite hard. Oh my god, it just happened there. Oh, just down by two players. Oh, that's a bad position for my center backs just now. So, Roma is taking their time. guys again just now you can see the step over skill this is basically the easiest skill to do like that you can get past the defender
Oh. Mark two to get the ball through like that. One hole to change direction. Like that, I can do. You can see how to change direction quickly using fake shot. Like that. Ah, couldn't get through. Ah, <laughs> playing around. <laughs> Only two more minutes. What else can I show you guys? Oh, finesse dribble, I didn't show you guys. My bad. It's okay, I'll do another one for finesse dribbling. Ah, that's a bad pass. I want to pass it Ronaldo. So, that's it for this video. I only managed to score one goal. Alright, let's take another look in uh, slow motion. Alright, so that's it for this video. I hope you guys had a good time watching this. I hope you guys can learn something from this and implement it in your gameplay. And with that, I'll see you guys in the next one.